God bless you. How are you guys doing? This is Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves. How you, how you guys doing today? I just want to get on here and encourage you guys and pray. Pray down heaven. Amen. And pray for the people that's sick. Pray for the people that needs deliverance. Pray for the people that's believing God for something. Amen. I just want to touch and agree for your miracle. God bless you guys. How are you guys doing today? Amen. But before we get into this prayer, I want to make a few announcements because God is good. So a lot of people, you're asking me when I'm going to have the School of the Prophets again. Well, I'm not going to have the School of the Prophets until January because God is doing some great, great things. God bless you too. Yes, I'm going to. Thank you so much. I just did my broadcast for my show for Saturday for Eternal Life TV. But I'm not going to have the School of the Prophets until January because we are writing our own textbooks for the school. So God is good. Amen. So if you want to pre-order my new book, you can just go to my website and pre-order the new book. It'll be out next month. So I'm excited about that. So I have a prophetic training. Let me show you guys. There's only a few slots left. All right. The Prophetic Summit is a four-hour webinar. You're going to get teaching, and I'm sorry to say it's kind of unsteady. Amen. So you can sign up. It's going to be June the 16th. I think that's a Friday or Saturday night. You're going to four hours. You're going to get impartation. And you're going to be flowing in the prophetic as never before. Amen. So sign up. This is module number two. Module two. Amen. So sign up. Amen. So the next thing I want to show you guys. You know, we're going to we're get ready to pray down heaven. All right. You know, if you have not already, sign up for the Glory Gathering Cruise. I got some anointed women of God coming. Amen. If you want to sponsor the cruise, if you want to sponsor any of these conferences, go ahead and sow into the kingdom. God will surely bless you. Amen. For your seat. Thank you for inviting followers. You know, it's going to be a five-day cruise in the Bahamas. Amen. I want to see you there. If you're sick, you're going to get healed. Amen. All right. The next thing I want to show you guys, if you haven't already, single women, I'm telling you, this is going to be an anointed present. All right. May the 6th is next Saturday. Uh, maybe, I don't know, however, however the Lord leads me. Amen. But you're going to get prophetic uh, ministry, healing, and deliverance. Amen. So I'm excited about that. Help. I'm single. I need help preparing for Boaz. It's going to be a mighty move of God. I've been seeking God about this. Amen. So I got the green light from heaven. Amen. So I'm excited about this conference. All right, and I will be in Mississippi July 6th, and I want to see you there. You can um, go to my website and register for all these conferences. Amen, amen. So, guys, I'm excited. Amen. So, we're getting ready to pray down heaven. And today, we're going to be decreeing and declaring overflow. Amen. We're going to be decreeing and declaring. Amen. I decree favor in that situation, Minister Doreen. Favor. Amen. So we're going to be decreeing and declaring some overflow right now. A lot of people right now, you know, you, you need, you know, your cup to be literally running over. Amen. What does that mean? The word of God tells us in what? Uh, I can't start with Psalms 23. Amen. That, you know, God will anoint us for all and our cup will flow over. Amen. So God wants to give you such a blessing. Amen. That the people around you, they will be blessed and they'll be able to benefit from the blessings. Amen. So today we're going to be talking about overflow. Amen. How many people want some overflow right now? I need you to swipe and share and begin to heart me up. Amen. I need you to put a demand on the anointing because I want God to move just as much as you want him to move. Amen. And let me tell you something. When we get together corporately we begin to praise God when we begin to worship God I'm telling you his glory will begin to manifest amen so we need overflow amen let me tell you something the benefits of overflow not only will you be blessed but your children will be blessed your grandchildren will be blessed your great grandchildren will be blessed amen People around you will begin to get blessed. And guess what? Even even, even people, they're going to be begin to look at you and they're going to want to serve the God that you serve. They're going to want to say, oh my God, I don't know what they're doing, but they have the favor of God on their life. And I need to tap into that. Amen. I need to tap into that. My God. So we're today we're going to be decreeing overflow. Amen. Because let me tell you something. Not only does God want to bless you, but he wants your household to be blessed. He wants the generations around you to be blessed. Amen. God wants to use you as a source of his blessing somebody. Amen. How many people be uh, believe that? How many people believe that today? Amen. That God wants to use someone like you as a source of his blessing. My God, I, I don't think y'all hungry for today's word. My God. Amen. 
Jesus, maybe I'm going to prophesy to myself today. I, I, I need some people on here that is hungry. I need some people right now that's saying, God, I'm tired of living like this. God, you know, this ain't my, my, my final destination, God. This is a stepping stone. I may be broke right now, God, but when I wake up in the morning, Lord God, I decree that the money that I'm believing you for will be in my account. My God, this is, these are the kind of people I'm talking to. I'm talking to the people that's desperate. I'm talking to the people that's saying, my God, Lord, I know that your word says you are the God that will supply all of my needs according to your riches and glory. These are the people that I'm talking to. My God is saying, okay, God, you know, right now I may be in a little bit of lack. I may be in a little bit of struggle, but your word says no good thing. God, what I lack if I walk uprightly. Jesus, come on, people of God. Amen. I'm here today to work with your faith. I said I'm here today to work with your faith. See, a lot of people right now, your faith has been wavering. Literally, I saw somebody said, oh my God, I'm so tired. Let me tell you, baby girl, keep holding on. Keep holding on. God bless you, woman of God. Keep holding on. You don't know, my God, how close you are to receiving the biggest miracle in your life. Maybe I'm talking to myself today, my God. Jesus, if you don't receive this word, I'm going to receive it for myself. People of God, amen. You don't know, my God, Jesus, that you could just be one praise away from receiving the greatest breakthrough ever. Amen. You do not know, my God, you can just be one worship session away before the heavens bust open over your life. My God, and you receive the overflow. My God, I don't think y'all ready for this word. I don't think y'all hungry for this word. Come on, people of God. Amen. I need some people to open up your mouth and just begin uh, to give, give God his praise. Begin to shout. Amen. Begin to give God praise. I'm telling you, Jesus. Woo! You may be crying in the inside. You may be hurting in the inside. But I decree and declare and I feel such an anointing. My God, as you begin to open up your mouth, the heavens are going to open over your life. Amen. And you're going to experience the overflow. Amen. If your head is dizzy, I break that off for you in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. A lot of people right now, you're getting ready to get healed. I said a lot of people, you're getting ready to get healed. Amen. I heard muscle fatigue. I don't know what that is. Amen. But you literally feel... Your muscles feel uh, achy and crampy, kind of like a Charlie horse. Is somebody on here listening to me? You're being healed right now. I just need you to get up and move. Get up and move right now in Jesus' name. A bunch of you are getting ready to get healed. Amen? Hallelujah. And I sent forth the fire God upon the person that said they were dizzy. Amen? Yeah, receive peace. Amen? Receive peace. Amen? Receive your healing, woman of God. Receive your healing. Amen? I don't care if you were in an accident, accident before. I, I, I come against all the the um, the memory. You know how like you, your mem your cells have memories, trying to make you remember the pain and the tension and the aches and the throbbingness of of what you have been through. I break it off for you in Jesus' name. I, I curse diabetes at the root in Jesus' name. Amen. I curse trauma. I curse just thinking bad things. See, a lot of people you went through some things. My God, and the enemy's trying to torment you. Trying to make you reflect on that. But let me tell you something. You're going to go forward. Amen. Somebody put that up there. I am going to go forward. I I'm not looking back. Oh my God. Somebody put that up there right now. I am going forward and I'm not looking back. Amen. You know, if your, your heart is broken, I need you to lay hands on your heart right now. And I send an anointing. I send forth the fire God to touch your heart. In Jesus name. And they heal you from the inside out. Come on now, that's not God's will for you to be around here feeling sad and feeling sorry for yourself. That's not the will of God for you. God has something special for you guys. God, I said God has something special in store for you guys. Listen, some of you, your name's been dragged through the mud. Some of you people done stabbed you in the back. The people that you love the most done betrayed you and they try to persecute you. But let me tell you something. Jesus understands. Amen. One, I just preach this. On oh, my broadcast, I just I talked from this book, Set the Captives Free, one of my books I wrote. You know, Judas, he was one of the 12 chosen ones that walked with Jesus really closely. But yet he, he betrayed Jesus. So you can imagine how much pain Jesus felt inside. So Jesus understands, baby. Woo, Jesus. I need somebody to lay hands right now on your heart. Lay hands everywhere it hurts. It's going to be a healing come to you right now. Amen.
If you believe on the anointing on my life, I need you right now to follow these instructions. Lay hands on your heart. Lay hands on your belly. Lay hands on your head. Lay hands anywhere it hurts. You're going to begin to feel fire. Some of you are going to feel warm. Some of you are going to feel something. A sense of coolness. A sense of peace to overtake you right now. Amen. You're going to be healed today. Amen. You're, you're not going to come the same way on the scope and leave off the same way. I decreed in your life. Amen. Somebody just release it all to God today. Amen. I said somebody just release it unto God today and say, God, I, I'm tired of, of living like this. I'm tired, God, of feeling stuck. I'm tired, Lord God, of being frustrated. A lot of people, you've been frustrated. Over the last few weeks, you've been frustrated. And this is not what God wants for you. Amen. God is saying, I need you to just open up your mouth right now. And God said, I'm going to fill it. I'm going to fill your mouth with my, my, my psalms, my, my prayers of declarations and faith decrees. Amen. How many people believe that God is going to fill your mouth with his word? Come on, people of God. Jesus. So today we're going to be decreeing the overflow. Amen. We're going to be decreeing overflow. I prophesy right now. I need everybody on here to touch and agree because it's powerful. It's power. I'm telling you, when we touch and agree according to the word, amen, it will be established. Amen. It's going to be established. So it is it's power. When we come together and we, when we touch and agree on something corporately, amen. So I prophesy, I decree that our Dressing floors will be full of grain. Amen. The vest will, be, will overflow with wine and oil. What does that mean? We're going to be overflowing in prosperity. What, what does that mean? You know that no more will we struggle. No more will we have lack. Amen. That we're going to begin to prosper. We're going to begin to walk in success. We're going to begin, I'm telling you, to eat success. To breathe success. Amen. We're going to attract wealth. We're going to attract success. Come on, somebody. Amen. Jesus. I come to decree that people are going to look at you and they say, woman of God, you're, you're, that anointing on your life. My God, that man of God, that anointing on your life. You know, I, I don't know something about you, but I need to, to, to sow in your life. I, I need to, to bless you. Amen. Because I know if I bless you, I know God is going to bless me. My God, who am I talking to today to? Woo! Jesus, come on now. That's right. No more lack. I'm going to start now to succeed. That's right. Come on, people of God. Somebody just give God praise in advance. Begin to give God praise in advance and begin to thank God for the overflow. Amen. Begin to thank God for the overflow that's in your life, the overflow that's coming in your life. Amen. And the overflow that you're going to walk in. Amen. I come right now as a prophet to, to break stagnancy off of you, to pull you up out of, you know, depression, to pull you up out of lack, to pull you up out of struggle, to pull you up uh, out of, you know, just feeling sorry for yourself. I come to pull you up out of that. I come to break you free from that. In Jesus' name, I come to break you free from wrong thinking. I come to break you free from negativity. I come to break you free from fear. I come to break you free from doubt. I come to break you free from demonic stronghold, somebody. Amen. Jesus. So I come to decree and declare that we're living in an abundance. Amen. I don't care if you're in a one bedroom apartment. I don't care if you're in a trailer park. Ro uh, ro uh, ro uh, broach a festive trailer park. I don't care if you're homeless. I don't care if you're sleeping in your car. Amen. I decree that you're living in the overflow. We're going to call those things that be not as if they were somebody. Amen. Amen. I want people to God right now. I want to challenge your faith right now for the next 30 days. For the next 30 days, you wake up, amen, and you look at your situation. And you begin to speak life over that thing, amen. You begin to speak life, amen, you and you speak to your checkbook. You speak to your wallet. You speak right now to your job. You speak right now over your business. You speak right now over your relationships. You speak, Jesus. And say, I'm living in the overflow, amen. I don't think y'all ready for this word, amen. Oh, my God, Jesus. Who's ready for this word? Who wants more of this word? Say, if you want more, say, I want more, prophet. I want more. Amen. Come on, people of God. I come to work with your faith today. See, somebody right now, you're just like, God, I quit. I'm not motivated. I don't want to do this anymore. Amen. Come on. If you want more, say, I want more. Because we're getting ready to go higher. My God. We're getting ready to go higher. My God. See, a lot of people, I'm looking at some confused people. Amen. You you have some people right now. I'm not going to call your name out, but I saw your name. I never want to call nobody out and embarrass anybody. I need you to lay hands on your head right now in Jesus name. My God, lay hands on your head. Amen. And it's like a fog is going to break off of you in Jesus name. And I send forth the fire God upon your mind and I command the same mind that was in Christ Jesus to be in your mind right now in Jesus name. Amen. No more confusion. 
No more confusion. It breaks off of you in Jesus' name. It breaks. Amen. Uh, what's your name? Uh, I, I saw to thee, something like that. You know, the Lord's talking to me about a business for you. Amen. The Lord is talking to me about a business for you. Amen. I don't know what business he spoke over your life. Amen. But this is your confirmation. This is your affirmation. The person I saw to thee, I don't know how to say your name. Amen. Go forth in Jesus' name. Go forth in Jesus' name. Amen. When I looked at you, you know, I just heard business talking to me to me about business for you, woman of God. Amen. Go forth. This is your affirmation. Listen. So I decree and declare that the season of lack ends now. Amen. Not next week. Not next month. Not next year. Come on now. It ends now. Somebody put now up here. Somebody put now up here in the name of Jesus. Um, I, I saw the, I think it's a daycare business. Amen. Sound familiar? A daycare business. Amen. I saw the, I just heard daycare business, some kind of daycare business. When I look at you, amen. So listen, I decree and declare that our blessing is so abundant that it's running over that everyone connected to us, come on now, will benefit from it. In the name of Jesus. My God, I'm, I'm saying some things. Jesus. I don't think y'all want this word today. I, my God, maybe, ooh, maybe I'm about to end this scope, y'all. Jesus. I need some people that's hungry. I need some people right now that's going to be on fire for God. Jesus. People that's saying, God, I can't, I can't live like this anymore. Lord God, I, I'm telling you, Lord God, I'm ready to receive my harvest. My God, some of y'all been sowing and I'm telling you, it's time to reap. It's time to reap what you have sown, people of God. Jesus. My God. Come on, people of God. I decree and declare that our blessing, come on now, is running over. Jesus. Come on, people of God. God is moving. I literally see in the, in, in the realm of the spirit, I see like just a hand of, the hand of the Lord shh, tearing off those closed heavens. My God. Jesus, that I see like an open heaven right now. Amen. That as we begin to pray, that these prayers, amen, this is what the Lord told me, Jesus. You know, when I was on my uh, consecration, um, he said, he gave me uh, Revelations 5, 8. That as the saints, the prayers of the saints, it is a sound before heaven. It is a sound before his throne. It is a sound like a musical instrument, like a harp somebody. It is a sound. And not only is it a sound, it is a fragrance. It's a, a, a aroma before him. Amen. Jesus, come on now. Amen. You see money dropping? Amen. I dare you to sow a seed in the anointing. Amen. It's, it is a sound. Jesus, that all of heaven you know, is standing at attention and they're ready to move. My God, I said, they're ready to move. Amen. The angels, my God, they're ready to move on our behalf. I, I, man, my God, I'm saying some things. Jesus. Woo. Come on, people of God. Jesus. Maybe I'm preaching to myself. Maybe I just need to go ahead and end the scope and just walk around the room. My God, and just give God praise and just get high in God by myself. Jesus. Come on now. I'm, I'm trying to get high today. Jesus. Oh, my God. Jeez, I'm telling you, y'all. Think about it. In, in, in the books of Acts, my God, when the Holy Spirit fell on the day of Pentecost, I'm saying some things. My God, the people around them thought they were drunk. That's how much God's presence manifested. That's how much his glory manifested up in that upper room. Come on now. So I, I come to prophesy that your barns, your house, everything pertaining to you guys, is going to be filled with plenty. And your bats will, will, will be busting with wine. What does that mean? My God, you know that the blessing that God has for you is going to be, you know, you can't even contain it all. Amen. Busting open. Full at the seams. Jesus. That's why if you receive it, say, I receive it today. I receive it today. Amen. Jesus. Somebody needs to know, my God, you've been so faithful to God. You've been so obedient. I'm telling you, your breakthrough is on the horizon. Mm. I said, your breakthrough is on the horizon. Jesus. Deuteronomy 28.1. You know, and if you faithfully, if you diligently, I'm telling you, 
The hands of the diligent make you rich, somebody. If you diligently, if you faithfully continue to do what you're doing, amen, continue to obey what God is telling you to do. I don't care if people uh, hate you. I don't care if people persecute you. I don't care if people stab you in the back, amen. Listen, if God is for you, who can be against you? Amen. No, I didn't move yet. I'm moving next month. Amen. I'm moving next month. Amen. Yeah, so I got a lot of things to do, you know. So I prophesy, as you begin to obey the voice of the Lord, amen, if you do everything that God is telling you to do, if you carefully obey his commandments, listen, you know, God is going to overflow you with his blessings. He's going to, I'm telling you, his, bless, his blessings going to chase you down. Amen. He's going to set you high above the nations amen of the earth amen what does that mean my god some of you are getting ready to reign in life you're getting ready to reign in christ amen that means when you begin to speak some things you're going to get begin to see manifestations of your spoken words who, who wants that my god who wants that to see the things that you decreeing and declaring come to pass come on people of god Amen. That you're going to go to places you're not even qualified to go. You know, don't worry about, you know, your education. Don't worry about credit. This is what God is saying. Don't worry about that. Because God is going to give you such a favor on your life. My God. That, you know, when you fill out that contract, when you fill out that application, it has no other choice but to come into alignment. What God is doing in your life. If you receive that, say, I receive that. Mm. My God. And this is something I never prophesied before. So I know this is God. What's getting ready to come out my mouth. Is somebody on here, your son, your son, you believe him for your son to, 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 to go to the NFL. Amen. The National Football League. Amen. I never said this out of my mouth before. Amen. If somebody on here is a woman, you're praying for your son. God, I just want my son to make it to the NFL. Amen. It's going to happen. I decree as a prophet of God right now. Amen. I don't know who you are. Amen. But I've seen that so clearly. Jesus. So listen to me. My God. You're getting ready to reign in life. Who wants that? Jesus. So I decree that we're, we're blessed in the city. And we're blessed in the field. Amen. We're blessed in the city. And, and we're blessed in the field. Jesus. Come on people of God. Come on that. That God's going to bless the fruit of our wombs. Amen. And in and, 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 and the fruit of the ground and the, and the fruit of your cattle and the increase of your herd and the young of your flock. So what does this mean? That everything pertaining to you, you're, you're getting ready to be so blessed. Yep. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. I'm getting ready to read all those verses. Amen. You're getting ready to be so blessed. Your children are going to be blessed. Your husband, your spouse is going to be blessed. Your businesses are going to be blessed. Some of you, I'm looking at you right now business owners my god and it seems like god my business can never flourish what's wrong with my business my god get ready for the turnaround get ready for the suddenly my god amen jesus that's what i'm telling you no more lack somebody say no more lack no more lack amen listen you have been faithful so, some of you you know god is saying i need you to start tidying off your business amen start giving start being faithful in your giving amen and watch god Watch what God does for you. Amen. Jesus. My God, how you doing, prophetess? Amen. So I prophesy right now that blessed shall I be our baskets and our knitting bowl. Blessed that everything that we're touching, everything with our names on it, everything. Come on now. Blessed, come on, people of God. Put this up here. Touch and agree. Blessed shall we be when we come in. Blessed shall we be, uh, blessed shall we be when we go out. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Don't come into agreement with the lies of the enemy. That's what the enemy wants. He wants you to, to come uh, into, uh, uh, you know, alignment with doubt and fear. Amen. You know, when the enemy tells you things, you can't do it, you're not going to make it, you cast those thoughts down immediately. Amen. Immediately. Cast down every high thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring those thoughts into captivity and to the obedience of Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, my God. Hallelujah, my God. Jesus, I, I, I feel like prophesying, my God. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, Prophetess Meneer Hicks. You know, when I'm looking at you, 
um, I'm seeing like teaching manuals, teaching manuals, not only for you, but also for your spouse, some teaching manuals. Amen. I see an institution, you know, I know, I know you have a school, but I see like a, a actual institution with manuals where your books and the manuals that the Lord will have you to write will be on library shelves. Amen. Will be in high demand. Amen. It's like some kind of teaching institute. Amen. Like a global, global uh, teaching institute. And I see manuals with well, the manual that you'll write. They'll be used to be taught in like cell groups be be taught in like uh what's those things called where uh people get together and they write um they write um book clubs like book clubs and like cell groups and small groups and uh in in communities and some kind of teaching manual and it's going to be such an anointing on it you know people like i want to buy it amen and they're going to uh, begin to like pre-order these manuals and it's going to be like really really sold out amen it's going to be really hard for you to keep these things in stock in jesus name hallelujah so god just give you praise in in, in jesus name so who god my hands are sweating y'all jesus my god so lord we just give you praise god come on now that the lord will make us to abound in prosperity my god he will make us to abound in prosperity come on now God wants to make you so abundant in his blessings. My God, I'm telling you, Jesus, Jesus, oh my God, y'all have no idea. See, let me tell you something. Some of y'all getting ready to go from the pit to the palace. Amen. From the pit to the palace, from, you know, just being from nothing at rock bottom, God's going to raise you up from literally, you know, feeling like you don't have a voice that God's going to set you on major platforms. And I'm my God, Jesus. And people going to not like you. People going to envy you. How did they get there? Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, my God, mm, Jesus, my God. And, and Noby Ann, no, uh, your, your name is Noby Ann. Amen. No be and no be and no be and. You know, right now you're like in a season of training. You're in a season of training. Amen. And you're like, God, you know, you're kind of looking for like a mentor, kind of like a spiritual mom. But when the Lord gets done with you, no be and. When he gets done with you, you're going to begin to raise up many sons. You're going to begin to raise up many, many daughters. Amen. You know, the Lord has shown you things about you being on television, about, you know, you having like broadcasts on radios. And I just want you to stay faithful. Amen. Stay faithful faithful amen because the lord will use you to be i uh, heard this when i first looked at you an instructor of instructors amen but you have to go right now yourself you got to kind of go through the the process amen so you know god's going to connect you to a covering it's going to connect you to like a, a spiritual mother you know she's going to favor you she's going to pour into you amen she's going to pour into you amen and the Lord says, you know, daughter, you have many, many, many books inside of you. You have many, 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 many books inside of you. Amen. So I encourage you, Noby Ann, to write, write while you're in pain. Amen. Write while you're in pain. It's going to birth something beautiful. And the anointings that you be, uh, the, the writing on that anointing when you write is going to be so anointed. Amen. That I'm telling you, it's going to literally heal people's pain and people are going to be delivered as they begin to read the book. When they begin to read the book, amen? So, oh God, I give you praise. And even right now, Nobiana, as I pray for you, Jesus, you know, there's an anointing for healing, amen, that's falling upon you now, amen? There's an anointing for healing that's falling upon you now, amen? Even though sometimes you pray, you see healing sporadically, but God is saying to tell you, Nobiana, that you're going to begin to see that on a, a more consistent level. You're going to begin to see that on a more consistent level in Jesus' name. And uh, my God, is a, a, a mantle this healing in this mantle that's i feel it so strong on you in jesus name i need you woman of god to receive that amen receive it amen what do you feel no be and what do you feel on your shoulders or your back amen what do you feel on your shoulders and back amen you're going to feel warmth you're going to feel a mantle you're going to feel something amen because it's, it's on me right now so strong my god hallelujah Hallelujah. And, and it's something like you need healing in your household. Amen. I pray whoever's sick in your family be healed in, in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know if your father is sick. I don't know. But I pray for healing over your family in the name of Jesus. So listen, people of God. You know, you're, 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 going to, you're getting ready to abound. Amen. You know, you're, you're coming to the top. You're, you're going to succeed. Amen. You're going to succeed. I don't care who said, you know, some people right now, you're on here. You are on here. People say you're not going to make it. You're not going to be nothing in life. I come and I break every negative curse word spoken over you. 
Amen. I break that off for you in the name of Jesus. I'm looking at some people right now. You know, your CEOs. I'm looking at some people right now. God is calling you to own your own company, your own business. Amen. You know, I'm looking at some people right now. You're going to be presidents. You know, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Jesus, God is going to raise you up. These are the people I'm looking at right now. Amen. Let me tell you something. When I was in 12th grade, a teacher came to me. She said, you're never going to be anything in life. This was a teacher that told me this. Let me tell you something. I, I, I renounced those negative curse words spoken over my life. My God, and I'm one more class away from getting my master's degree, somebody. Amen. Let me tell you that. That's God. That is God. Amen. You don't, don't let nobody put a, put a word curse on you. I come to break that off of you in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, some people like, you're, you're, you're just like your father. And you know your father was an alcoholic and he was an adulterer. I break that off for you in Jesus' name. You're, you're going to make it. Amen. You're going to succeed. Amen. Let me tell you something. I'm looking at some college graduates. You're going to be the first person to graduate in your family from college. Amen. I'm looking at some powerful prophets, some powerful evangelists, some powerful teachers, some powerful intercessors on here in the name of Jesus. My God. I'm telling you, people of God. Amen. Jesus. My God. I just feel like prophesying to some people jesus Woo! my god listen hallelujah my god listen somebody just give god praise amen begin to give god praise god is so faithful amen i'm telling you just like paul and silas they begin to pray and begin to praise god and begin to sing songs of you know some songs and hymns unto god even though we're they were bound up and changed but they just begin to give god his praise they begin to give god his glory and guess what all of heaven moved on to behalf and god sent an earthquake my god jesus I want to prophesy, I'm telling you, that those chains are going to break off of you. As you begin to give God his praise, as you begin to give God his glory, amen, God is going to favor you. Jesus, I'm telling you, God's going to make something happen. Some people right now speak an acceleration in your life. Some people right now, you, you've been literally trying to write books for years. Amen. But I prophesy, you're going to get that book written, my God. Amen. In a short amount of time. Amen. I speak an acceleration. Amen. That would, would, that would have took you years to get something done. Amen. You're getting ready to do it in a short amount of time. Who receives that word? Who receives that word in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Uh, ch child of Yahweh. Child of Yahweh. Lord God, just give you praises for her life. Hallelujah. Who God, I just give you praise for her life, Father. Hallelujah. And, and the Lord says, I'm going to raise you up in the midst of your enemies. I'm going to raise you up in the midst of your enemies. Some people right now, they're so jealous of you. They don't want you uh, to, to succeed. You know, they're literally intimidated when they look at you. They're saying, man, you know, I'm telling you, but God is going to expose your secret haters. Amen. God is going to expose your secret haters in the name of Jesus, my God. Your, 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 your business will flourish. Amen. I'm telling you, you're getting ready to prosper. Your, your household, everything about you. Amen. It's getting ready to change. Amen. Lord, I just give you praise, Lord God. I'm, listen. The Lord says continue to speak, continue to sing, continue to, to do what you're doing. Amen. The Lord said he's pleased. And God, I just give you praise. Amen. God, we just give you praise, Lord. Jesus. Lord, I, I, I thank you, Lord. Come on, people of God. Some, somebody give God praise. Amen. Somebody give God praise up in this place. Listen, I, 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 Jesus, you know, just like the, 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 the people, amen, they, 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 the walls of Jericho, they marched around that wall seven times, my God. But then they begin to praise God on that seven tribe, my God. They, they begin to blow the trumpet on the seven. Oh, my God, the seven march, Jesus. I'm telling you, I want to prophesy that all your Jericho walls, you know, there's some possibilities. Amen. Those strongholds are going to fall down now in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, people of God. I, I decree and declare, come on now, that, you know, God is opening up to us right now, the good treasury, the heavens, to give us rain in this season, to bless all the works of our hands. And we shall lend to many nations, and we shall not borrow. Amen. Let me tell you something. We shall lend to many nations and not borrow. Amen. Some of you, let me tell you something. God is getting ready right now to cancel the debt. 
I said God is getting ready to cancel the debt because there's some people on here. You've been borrowing from people and you know you couldn't afford to pay them back. My God, I, if that's you, I need you to shout glory right now. I need you to shout glory and I need you to give God praise. Jesus, that every debt that you owe, my God, Jesus. Woo! Oh my God, I'm looking at somebody right now. It's almost like your name is Siobhan. Is there Siobhan on here? It's like Siobhan. Amen. Hallelujah. But I'm looking at somebody. You know, you've been borrowing and borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. You know, I, I need to borrow this. I need to borrow that. I need to borrow this. Just get ready for a turnaround. Amen. Get ready for a turnaround. Amen. Is there a, is there a Siobhan on here? Amen. Is there a Siobhan on here? Jesus. Amen. I'm, I'm looking at somebody right now. It's like you, you, you borrow somebody's car. Amen. And you're getting ready to have your own car. Jesus. I'm telling you. Jesus, my God, I'm telling you, receive it. Jesus, who else is on here? I follow the great man of God, the mighty intercessor. Your name is Vincent. Amen. I follow you on, on Periscope. You know, powerful intercessor. Amen. When I look at you, you know, I, I know you travel, but you're going to travel even the more. When I, when I looked at your name. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. And, and, oh God, I feel this so strong in my belly. My belly's on fire. You know, it's almost like your belly's been on fire for the last couple of days. Like fire. Amen. And there's so many books inside of you. There's so many. Your name is Ivan. Okay. Hold on. Don't go nowhere, Ivan. Amen. Don't go anywhere. Hold on. I, I think I have a word. Amen. Hollywood, so many books in, inside of you, you, powerful intercessor of God. Amen. God, I just thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, just for Ivan. Lord God, bless her. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, I decree and declare, hallelujah. The Lord is saying, daughter, he, even right now, a, a, a Ivan, you know, he's, he's making those crooked places straight in your life. Amen. He's making those crooked places straight in your life. Lord God, I just give you praise. Amen. No more lack. Amen. You know, the Lord has spoken to you about business. The Lord has spoken to you about um. Not only business, but I see like a uh, like some kind of charity, you know, that the Lord will want you to have. Amen. You know, um, I, I just break every word curse of the past. The enemy is trying to speak over your life through people, through haters. I, 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 I will break that off of you in the name of Jesus. But I'm looking at a charity. Amen. I'm looking at a charity that the Lord will have you to to have, to have you to to fund. Amen. The Lord is saying, Ivan, amen. He has a de deliverance ministry, you know, for you, woman of God. He has a deliverance ministry. Uh, for you amen you know sometimes you're like god I, I feel heat my hands on fire i feel this i feel that amen so you say hfi that i run amen god i pray that you you, you bless it even the more in jesus name amen lord god and i thank you lord god for the deliverance ministry and it, it, the anointing for that to increase ever the more in the name of jesus nikki moment of god you know the lord saying hallelujah you felt like god is this it you know it's not it amen this is not it's not the end for you nikki this is not the end for you nikki amen you know god i'm telling you, he's the god of multiple chances amen this word is for nikki he is the god of multiple chances you know i'm telling you listen your, your jury line, I want you to continue that up. I don't know if you're still doing jury. I haven't spoke to you. I want you, I want to challenge you to continue to, to do that. Amen. You know, I, I come against the... Listen, I see you doing prep talks with women, Nikki. You know, telling them, you know, um, just... We're holding the standard. We're holding the, the word of God. Amen. I see this. You know, you, the Lord, will. he's going to give you more responsibility and he's going to connect you. You're going to kind of be like a mentor for women, like for single moms, for moms that just don't have any hope. Amen. And the Lord will even cost you. It's kind of like a business I'm looking at. It's like some business where it's like you get some kind of assistance to um, these women. Like you help them get some assistance for single mothers, you know, it's some kind of business I'm looking at. And also it's more than just you give them assistance that these women are going to get healing for their souls, healing, you know, cause they're broken, you know, cause they're saying, Oh my God, like my life is over. I'm a single mom and you know, I made a mistake. Amen. And since you've been there, you know, God is going to use your testimony, woman of God. So you hold your head up. Amen. You hold your head up. Amen. So, so God, I, I just give you praise. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Come on, people of God. Come on, hallelujah, that God's going to bless the work of our hands. Amen. Hallelujah. God is going to bless the work of our hands. Come on, people of God. See, people, you've been, I feel like, weeping right now. 
So people, you've been crying so long enough. You know, you've been weeping. Amen. I, I come against heaviness in the name of Jesus. If you've been heavy on here, I need you to lift hands right now. And I send forth the fire of God upon you, and I, and I break that heaviness off of you. Amen. And I put on you the garment of praise right now. Some of you just heavy. You've been crying, and you just been welling, and you've just been feeling sorry for yourself. Get up out of that in the name of Jesus. And I send forth a, a fresh anointing upon you. Some people receive it right now. Some people receive a fresh anointing right now to fall upon you in the name of Jesus. Come on now. That some people begin to give God praise for what he's going to do in your life. Amen. You know, some people right now, you're just like, man, Lord, I, I don't feel like anything can happen for me. You know, it seems like everybody around me, God is getting blessed. But God, what about me? And I want to tell you guys, don't get weary and, and, and well doing because at the right time, you'll reap a harvest if you faint not. I'm telling you, people of God, amen. I literally feel like crying. Some people have been crying, you know, long enough, like, God, I'm tired of my husband and my wife just acting up and my children. I decree and declare divine alignment in your house. I decree and declare, come on now, you know, things to straighten up on your job. Things to straighten up, my God. Mm, Jesus, in your business, in the name of Jesus, somebody on here, you know, you have a bad migraine, something right here on your head right now. Who is this? It's on the left side of your head. Come on, people, guys. It's, it's something on the left side of your head. It's like migraines. You've been having this headache. You can't shake it. Come on. Uh, you're going to get healed today in Jesus' name. I feel it so strong, and it's actually throbbing right now. Amen. God wants to heal you. Amen. You're going to be healed. Get up, uh, Icy. I think it's Icy Hot 12. Amen. I send forth the fire of God right now upon your head. By Jesus stripes, you are healed. And Jesus now command all pain to come out. All pain to come out in Jesus' name. Amen. And I need you just to lay hands on your head as a point of contact. You're getting ready to get healed. As I pray over you, as I speak over you, you know, the pain is lifting. Amen. The pain is lifting. It has to go right now in the name of Jesus. What do you feel on you, Icy Hot? Amen. I command the throbbing to break off of you. And I send forth the fire of God in Jesus' name. Amen. And I command, it, I command the stubborn pain to break in Jesus' name. Amen. What do you feel on you, Icy Hot? I don't feel it as much. Hallelujah, I don't feel it. Hallelujah, it should be gone. Let me know what you feel. You feel better. Amen. 100% God. It's gone on my end. Amen. It's gone. Let me know if it's gone. It's gone. Amen. The headache is gone. I don't feel it. Amen. Y'all give God praise. Amen. It is The more you stay on here, it's going to be gone. It's gone. See, she said it's gone. Look at, look at God. Amen. Y'all give God praise. The headache is gone. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. I just give you praise amen i give you praise i give you praise i'm give you praise somebody on here uh i see you worried about it's gone Woo! we give god praise wow jesus all right somebody on here you know i see all these hospital bills everywhere and it's making you like feel sick and it's causing you know this you know how like you just feel stressed out and you know stress cause sickness oh my god I, I decree and declare you know this is what i see i don't know who you are but you have this uh, uh hospital bills all these bills from the hospital amen but i see the hand of the lord just poof, like knocking those the stack of bills over in the name of jesus amen and i decree and declare by god's stripes you know you are healed in jesus mighty name amen amen Hallelujah. Lord God, thank you, Father God, for every uh, the tuition bills to be paid off, court bills, legal fees to be paid off in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I give you glory in the name of Jesus. That's right, God. Supernatural release. Supernatural release in Jesus' name. God is so faithful. Amen. Listen, I said God is so faithful. Jesus, God is so faithful. Amen. Lord God, we just give you praise. Amen. I decree deeper faith. You should have deeper faith. If God just healed your headache, amen, your migraine, amen. Amen. Receive it. Amen. You know, the word of God tells us, I'm telling you, even if you have a, a uh, you know, oh my God, my mind is going blank, y'all. My mind cuts off sometimes when I pray. If you have a, a a faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you can speak, come on now, to that mulberry bush, those deep-rooted issues, and it has to be removed and be cast into the sea. Amen. So I'm telling you, the mustard seed faith, amen, is powerful. Amen. God has given us each a, a measure of faith, and your faith in God is a force to be reckoned with. Your faith in God can move those mountains. Amen. Your faith in God can cause all of heaven to move on your behalf. Jesus, I'm, I'm saying some things. Amen. I just wrote a book on faith. Walk by faith, a daily devotional. Amen. 
Listen to me, people of God. Hallelujah. You know, I'm telling you, I, I know about faith. This walk is a faith walk. Nobody never told you that this walk was going to be peaches and cream. Amen. Faith, I'm telling you, it is a requirement when you're walking with God. It's not an option. Amen. The word of God says the just shall live by faith. Amen. Now, I always tell people that the faith is, is the currency for everything in, in the kingdom. Amen. Just like you go to the grocery store in the U.S., the dollar is the currency here. But if you will go to, to Europe, Europe, you know, it will be the euro, will be the, the the, you know the currency come on people of god amen so listen we are citizens of heaven amen so faith is our currency and some people right now you don't know how you're going to make it but you know that you got faith in god and you know that hey your, your faith in god is going to pay off that your faith in god is not in vain that your faith in god come on now will cause God to supply all your needs will cause God to deliver you in your distress you call out to God and God will deliver you from all your troubles come on somebody amen this is faith in God amen let me tell you something I've been broken my God I've been through the fire of a, the furnace of affliction I didn't know how I was going to make it when I got evicted um, like two three years ago my God but God gave me a word he says daughter you'll never be homeless and God kept that word God honored that word come on somebody amen that's faith in God Amen. Some people right now, you're literally down to your last 50 cents. Some people account in a negative. You Don't you know that God has, he knows what you have need of before you even come ask him. God knows you need some groceries. I want to prophesy that God will send somebody, amen, to, 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 to bless you, to take you grocery shopping. Amen. I'm telling you people, God, can I share a testimony right quick? Jesus my God I remember you know I didn't have no food in my house and I was crying you know and I said God I don't know how I'm gonna make it and the Lord spoke to me he says I want you to start a homeless ministry I was like what God you want me to start a homeless ministry how can I start a homeless ministry and I don't even got no food you know but let me tell you what God did he gave me $800 my God he gave me $800 my God and not only was I able to fill up my fridge my pantry but I was able to bless five other families in Colorado Springs and feed a hundred people homeless people outside underneath the bridge my god come on somebody amen that is god amen but i had to go through the process i had to go through the pain to birth out my homeless ministry my god jesus come on people of god Come on, Jesus. So the pain that you're going through right now is birthing out destiny. It's birthing out purpose. My God, it's birthing out a, a, a fresh and a greater anointing. It's birthing out that call on your life. Amen. So how many people believe that? Jesus. Come on, people of God. Jesus. So I decree and declare that God is right now. He's going to do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond anything we can think or imagine according to that power that works into, in us, right? Uh, Jesus, according to, I'm telling you, people of God. Open up your mouth and begin to decree God's word. Amen. Begin to pray without ceasing. Begin to just give God praise. I'm telling you, people of God. Amen. I'm telling you, Jesus, to that power that works within you. This is not the time to be passive. See, some of you right now, you cannot afford to be quiet. You cannot afford to not pray. You cannot afford to not believe God. Amen. I'm telling you because your life is on the line. Amen. The things that you believe in for, your next level, your next realm in the God, it's, I'm telling you, it's dependent on your prayers. It's dependent on your intercession. This ain't the time to be quiet. This ain't the time to be Mm, you know, you know, people, you feel resistance. I break resistance off of you in the name of Jesus. That's why we're going to cry out to God. Ever the more we're going to cry aloud and spare not. Amen. We're going to continue to be on the wall, somebody. To be on the, the, the uh, watch post. Come on, somebody. Amen. And just cry out unto God and say, God, I need you, Lord God. Lord God, with every fiber God within me, God. With every breath God within me, Lord God. Lord God, I'm going to just give you praise, Lord God. I don't care who's trying to shut me up, God. I don't care who don't like me lord god i don't care you don't agree with the things you're doing in my life or this ministry God, I'm going to pray, God, even the more. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. My God, if the devil is messing with you, that should be fuel to the fire. Let me tell you something. If the devil is messing with you, my God, that should be fuel to pray more. My God, that should be fuel to fast. I'm telling you, that should be fuel to get into worship, somebody. Amen. I'm telling you, this ain't the time to quit. This ain't the time to say, oh, my God, 
Lord, I, I, I'm just going to throw in the towel. Nothing's going to happen. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. This is the time to get up. Amen. This is the time to press forward. This is the time. I'm telling you, you have no idea. Let me tell you, for, for two weeks one time, last year, I cried. I cried. I cried for two weeks straight. I was just so broken. My God. But then one day, God said, get on Periscope and teach, the, teach on the prophetic. And so I did that. And you never, I'm telling you, a major minister was on the Periscope scope and he shared my scope and in the, the the following you know my, my my profit page it doubled amen the the following the ministry has it doubled my god that is god so the pain that i was going through my god it birthed my next level my god so that's what you need to know i'm telling you some people you're in pain some people you've been crying some people you're just frustrated um i'm telling you you're getting ready to go to your next level my god Amen. You're getting ready to go to your next level. This ain't the time to quit. Woo, some people right now, I'm trying to preach about praying before overflow. I can't even get there. Amen. This ain't the time to quit. Amen. Somebody said, I will not give up. Somebody put that up here. I will not give up. Amen. Come on now. I won't give up. I won't give up. Somebody on here, you got bad pain in your left side of your stomach. Who are you? Come on, you're going to get healed. Amen. Bad pain, left side stomach. Something in your stomach is causing uh, cramps or something, achy stomach, something in your left side of your stomach. Come on, speak up. God wants to heal you. Amen. Amen. It's something on your left side of your stomach. I speak healing over you in the name of Jesus. That's you, Devin, LG. You had some earlier. If you can get up, you're going to be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Just get up and move. Amen. I sent forth the fire of God upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. Just get up and move. Amen. And I, I pray right now for your stomach to be healed in Jesus' name. Any, uh, any uh, cramps or anything. God, in Jesus' name. Somebody on here. You got stomach cramp, eggs on the left side. You don't have it now, though. Well, I just pray healing over you. I pray it not to come back. I command it not to come back in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody else on here, uh, left elbow pain. Something in your left elbow. God wants to heal you right now. If you just move your arm around, I prophesy you're going to feel warmth or something on your elbow. And God's going to heal you right now. How many people believe that? Amen. Somebody on here. Something in your left elbow. I feel heat. Going in it right now. Come on. I speak total healing, uh, wholeness over you. So let me let me prophesy and tell you guys that God is preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemies. My God. See, some of y'all have been under some jealous leaders. Some of y'all have been under some people that didn't see the destiny and, and they, they saw where God is taking you, but they try to hold you back. Amen. They didn't want you to go forward. Jesus. But God is going to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. My God. You know, the people that say you won't going to make it. The people say you won't qualify. You know, that's that's the people that God is going to use. My God. The, the, the underdogs. The people that say, man, they don't got the right look. My God, but God's going to use you. I'm, a, I'm telling you, God uses the foolish things to confound the wise. My God, you know you know who God used? He used uh, David, King David. He didn't use, you know, he used a, a little shepherd's boy to become the next king. Come on, somebody. Amen. He didn't use none of his brothers that were, you know, better looking than him, stronger looking than him. Amen. He used a little scrawny little boy. Amen. I'm telling you, some people looking at you, they're like, this. they don't got what it takes. But God is saying otherwise. Because God's going to pour such an anointing on your life, somebody. My God. God. Amen. That's right. Some of y'all been rejected beyond rejected. My God. Some, some people cried out and said, God, I don't know how much rejection a person can take. Jesus, just get ready. I'm telling you, get ready, get ready, get ready. Hallelujah. God is preparing the table right now and, and, our, and our cups are running over. Amen. Our cups are running over. Amen. I want to decree that this is our year for bounty. This is our year. You know, God's going to crown our year. Come on now with bounty. Our wagon tracks overflowing in abundance. In the name of Jesus. Come on now. Hallelujah. I decree that we're going to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all everything else will be added unto us. Amen. Everything else will be added to us. I need some people to say, if I be about God's business. Come on now. He's going to be about my business. My God. Woo! 
Just like the book of Haggai. Amen. It says, consider thy ways. Amen. Jesus. These people had holes in their pocket because they were so concerned about building their own house up, but they neglected the house of the Lord. I come to prophesy right now as we begin to build up God's house, begin to build up God's kingdom. My God, Jesus, if we be about his business, God's going to be about our business. If you just be about God's, you know, whatever God's calling you to do, my God, then everything that you believe in God for, I'm telling you, you will not lack anything. Amen. I'm telling you, your bills will be paid on time. Amen. Favor will surround you as with a shield. My God. Amen. How many people believe that? Jesus, I pray right now for Kenneth. I break depression off of him. I, I command Lord God salvation in his life. God, I pray that you draw him now to you in Jesus name. Amen. That's right. Kingdom minded. So I decree and declare. Come on now. Hallelujah. Come on now. That the meek shall inherit the land and delight themselves in abundant of peace. Come on now, somebody. My God, continue to stay humble. Continue to stay humble. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for praying for me. I receive your prayers. Amen. 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 So it's something about, listen, just staying meek and humble before God. You know, great will be your peace. Amen. You know, you're going to be known as the sons of God, as God's daughters. Come on, somebody. Amen. I'm telling you because you're going to be peacemakers. Amen. Let me tell you something. I'm Oh, Jesus, nothing will make you stumble. Amen. Great will be your peace if you love God's law and nothing will make you stumble. That's what somebody needs to know. Amen. See, the, 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 the enemy wants you to feel depressed about your circumstances. But I come to decree and declare, come on now, depression has no portion in our lives. Amen. That prosperity, that overflow, that greatness, come on now, will be attached to our names, will be associated with us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on now, that the God himself, the God of our whole Hope, you know, it's going to fill us with all joy, with all peace in believing so that so by the power of the Holy Spirit, we're going to abound in hope. Amen. Somebody say that Jesus is the source of my hope. Come on. Somebody say Jesus is the source of my hope. Somebody needs to know that God is the source of everything. Amen. God is the source of everything that you need. God is going to take you higher. Some people right now, you're so hungry for the supernatural. You're so hungry. Oh, hallelujah. Just get ready to receive. Come on, people of God. I need some people to lift hands right now in the name of Jesus. I feel, you know, this is glory. I feel his anointing on here in the name of Jesus. I need some people to just lift hands right now in Jesus name. Come on now. Holy, I feel an anointing. I see in the realm of the spirit, huh? I see new oil being poured out. Come on, somebody. I see new oil being poured out in Jesus name. Come on now. Oh, God, my God, that as we begin to decree and declare and speak his word, that signs and wonders will follow. Come on now. That the supernatural will manifest. Come on now. Because the kingdom of, uh, of, of God, the kingdom of heaven is not only in word, but it's in power. Come on, somebody. It's in demonstration, somebody. Somebody. In Jesus' name, come on now. I decree and declare, oh Jesus, that's right. God is our vindicator in Jesus' name. God, hallelujah. Oh, somebody on here, you got menstrual cramps. If you can get up right now, God wants to heal you in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, somebody receive that anointing. Amen. Whoever. That's right, God. We give you praise. Lord, I just thank you, Father God. Come on now. Bless our Lord. Bless Jesus. That the sound of our, our God's praises will be heard. Come on now. Come on, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. Jesus. Come on, that God has brought us to a place of abundance. Amen. I decree and declare. Come on now. Jesus. Psalm 66. Somebody write this down. Psalm 66, verses 8 through 12. Amen. It says, For, oh God, you have tested us. Come on now. Some people have been tested us, you know, as you know, as you have tried us. Like as silver as tried. Come on now. God has brought us, you know, into the net. He has laid a crushing burden on our backs. You know. He has let men ride over our heads. We have went through the fire and through the water. You know, but yet God has brought us to a place of abundance. Yet God has brought us to a place of abundance. So what is that saying? Some of y'all done went through something, my God. Some of y'all done, uh, some, if you were to tell your testimony right now, some people won't even believe the things that you have went through. My God, but God is still bringing you to a place of abundance. Amen. God is still going to use you. No matter how jacked up your past is, God is still going to use you. No matter who don't like it. God is still going to use you, my God, no matter how much pain you carry. Jesus, my God, because guess what? You don't pay the price for that oil. You don't pay the price for that anointing. Amen. And you know that God, my God, is the source of the blessing. You know, you know that yeah, woo, you will give God his glory in Jesus name. Listen to me. 
I, I prophesy we're going to feast on the abundance of our house. And I, my Jesus. And God will give us a drink from the river of his delights. Amen. Psalms 36 and 8. Write this down. Psalms 36 and 8. My God, we're going to feast on the abundance. Somebody say, I'm going to feast on the abundance. Amen. And we're going to drink from the river of God's delights. We're going to drink from the rivers of God's delights. Psalms 36 and 8. Psalms 36 and 8. Amen. That's a powerful word. Amen. So I decree and declare. Come on now. There's going to be abundance of grain in our lands. Amen. And, and I'm telling you, in the top of the mountains, we're going to wave it. Amen. Listen to me. I'm reading from Psalm 72, verse 16. Psalm 72, verse 16. Amen. Some of y'all, let me tell you something. Every valley place in your life is going to be lifted high. My God. Amen. Every valley place in your life is going to be lifted high. You're going to be on the mountaintops. Amen. Just as God says in this word, he's going to make our feet like the feet of the hind's feet and set us up on those high places and make our feet secure somebody. Amen. So you're going to be on top of the mountaintops like, woo, victory. Woo, I made it. Jesus, I made it, right? So hallelujah. And it's going to be like fruit of Lebanon. God bless you. And we're going to blossom like the cities of the field. Amen. So I prophesy as we give, it shall be given back to us. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men pour into our bosom. Amen, amen, amen. So God, we just give you praise, God. We just thank you for the overflow. Lord, and everybody just touching the grave with this prayer today. Amen. Don't leave off of here without saying amen. So God, we just give you praise, Lord God, for you just doing greater works in us. That you're just, you know, causing us to flourish, causing us to prosper, causing us to, to you know, just to be successful, God. God, we just give you praise for you know what the things we have been through for the closed doors god we give you praise god for even for the open doors god we give you praise for the opportunities god we give you praise for the healings we give you praise for the deliverance we give you praise in jesus mighty name somebody on here you have an earache you have an earache in the right side of your ear who are you because god wants to heal you right now amen something in the right side of your ear earache pressure that breaks off of you in jesus name amen 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 listen I just read out, uh, that's you first lady, uh, la, so don't go anywhere. I'm going to pray over you. Amen. I just read, uh, prayed out of one of my books, prayers that break the yoke of the enemy. I've written 12 books. I got a 13th book on the way. It's called school of the prophets, a curriculum for success. You know, I have a school of the prophets. I've been teaching on the prophetic for a while. Um, then trained so many people. Um, so we're going to relaunch the school of the prophets in January. So you can take this book back to your meetings, to your churches and teach on it. The revelation God has given me, I have so much teaching on the prophetic. I can teach for days on it. Amen. For months. Amen. So I'm writing about three or four books on the prophetic. So if you want to pre-order the book uh you can go to my website kimberlyhargrace.com and uh pre-order that book it's going to bless your life thank you so much amen i do have a publishing company you know if you want to get your book published through you know the company then you know send me your manuscript email me info at kimberlyhargrace.com and if i want to publish a book then we can make it happen amen we can make it happen all right if you want to be a blessing to the ministry um i'm getting ready to pray for you lady law amen don't go anywhere amen i'm gonna pray and i'm gonna prophesy over you and i want you to get up lady law amen you i feel heat going in that right ear right now even as i speak to you amen and let me know what you feel lady law you're gonna feel heat i feel fire going in your ear so listen to me you know um uh, we're going on a glory gathering cruise. I do need sponsors for that. Amen. So if you want to sponsor the cruise, uh, you know, be a blessing. So into the kingdom. Amen. All right. Meet me in July. We're going to Mississippi. All this stuff is on my itinerary on my website. I'm going to pray for you too. I'm going to take some prayer requests. Amen. Let me know what you feel, Lady Law, because my ear is on fire. My ear is on fire. Amen. Single women, I'm telling you, uh, come to the conference next Saturday. It's going to be a singles conference. I'm telling you. I call it left hand ministry, left hand ministry, amen. I don't I don't preach anything I don't that I don't live, amen. I pray for favor in the court system in Jesus' name for you, Miss Becky. Amen. So I'm telling you that single spirit's gonna break off your life in Jesus' name. God did it for me, and I'm gonna be raw and I'm gonna really help you guys. Yes, register, register. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen, amen. It's gonna happen. I've been seeking God on this, amen. So yes, be there. It's leaving. Y'all give God praise. Woo! The pain in her ear is leaving, amen. The pain in her ear is leaving. I give God glory. Amen. Yes, I, I command that. Whoever needs legal uh, 
situation, the uh, miracle in that, I pray right now that God is the righteous judge. Amen. And he's going to judge accordingly. Amen. God is the righteous judge. Amen. And Jesus himself make intercession for us, which is powerful in Jesus name. Come on now that God is the judge. Amen. The righteous judge. I decree that right now. God, I pray for favor in these legal situations in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God, thank you, Father God, that the attacks of Satan are canceled in the name of Jesus, that whatever, Lord God, whatever uh, the enemy trying to do at them to get them discouraged and trying to attack them. I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Come on, people of God. That no weapon formed against these people, God, will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against your people, God, you will condemn in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, it's powerful. When we when we begin to touch and agree, it is powerful. Come on, intercessors, touch and agree in Jesus' name. Amen. Lady Law, let me know how you feel. Amen. I don't feel that in my ear. I just feel heat. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray right now for your heart to be healed in Jesus' name. And God, we touch and agree for one art architect, Lord, his wife, Lord God. We pray for her salvation and her deliverance in the name of Jesus. Uh, Y'all give God praise. She said her ear is okay now. Amen. Y'all give God praise. Amen. Who God would just give you praise. Hallelujah, Lord, for what you're doing in, in Jesus' name. Amen. So, people of God, y'all be encouraged. Uh, yep, healing the ear in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Lord. I pray for, uh, what's her name? Minister Doreen. Minister Doreen, Lord, I just lift up, you swelling all over. Please get up. Can you walk uh, called qualified? Amen. I sent forth a fire, God, to saturate you in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, as I'm praying for you, my legs are hot. My legs are getting really hot. My legs are on fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me know, woman of God, uh, called, uh, forgot your name, qualified. Let me know if you feel heat. It's, it's, it's more on the left leg at the bottom than anything. Amen. But God, I pray right now for, um, um, what's her name? Minister Doreen in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. And I, I pray right now that we can just break the heavens over her life in the name of Jesus. Keep on walking. Keep on walking. Amen. And watch God. Amen. Listen, you know, I have seen God heal uh, lumps in people's body and they, they just dissolved. Amen. I, I seen God. The swelling went down. You know, I, I seen it before. Amen. So, Lord God, I'm just give you praise. Let me let me just pace, cause I'm starting to get hot. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, I'm starting to sweat, y'all. Jesus. So, God, we just thank you. Look at the devil on here. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. So, Lord, keep on walking, woman of God. Amen. You're gonna be healed today. I command the swelling to go down in Jesus' name. Amen. God, I just pray for favor. It's already done. Just give God praise, Minister Doreen. Just give God praise and watch God. Amen. Just keep giving God praise. Let me tell you something. True story. Amen. Let me tell you. I'm going to testify. I, I testify a lot because when we testify, we give the enemy a, a black eye. See, I went to court one time in a season of my life for about four to five months. Every week I had to go to court. You know, I was on probation. You know, I destroyed a lot of property. I was bad, you know, and I had to repent before God and, you know, get my, my life together. And, um... Let me tell you something. God was working in that courtroom. The attorney said, I just don't understand why they won't dismiss the case. They didn't dismiss the case because I had a God working in that courtroom for me, somebody. Amen? Amen? So if God can do it for me, he can do it for you. Amen? So listen, I'm telling you, yes, I used to be so bad, y'all. So God is good, but God is good. Amen? Y'all, I, I break those word curses off for you. Amen? In Jesus' name. So, Lord God, we thank you, Father God. Your son's father is taking me to court for money. Lord God, I just pray for a miracle in the name of Jesus that she won't have to owe anything in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. All right, who else need healing? I'm about to get off of here. Anybody else on here sick that need healing? So I can pray for you to be healed. Who else on here needs healing? Anybody else on here sick? And the lady that's uh, called qualified, let me know what you feel. Is it swelling? Is it swelling gone, woman of God? Let me know. You received court case, probation, kissel. Amen. Your spine. Are you able to get up, Malcolm? One. Please get up and move. You're having digestive issues. Your right foot. I feel fire in my right foot. Be healed in Jesus' name. I speak right now over your your GI tract. Lay hands on your stomach. Lay hands on your heart. It's not gone. Keep on walking. Keep on walking. Call qualified. You're gonna get healed today. Amen. And it's, it's your left eye. I command the pain to go out your left eye in Jesus' name. I pray for your athlete foot to be healed in Jesus' name. All right, Malka, uh, get up right now. I sent forth the fire God on your back. I feel warmth going in my back. Amen. You have scoliosis. 
Hey Amen. I, I seen God uh, a lot, uh, straighten up a, a somebody called a prayer line that had scoliosis. God straightened up that spine right there on the spot, and that that thing blew my mind, y'all. I was like, whoa, you know. But I know if God did it for that lady, He can definitely do it for you. Amen. I, I break scoliosis off of you in Jesus' name, and I command your spinal, uh, you know, column to be aligned now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, you're gonna feel pressure in your back, Malka. Amen. You're gonna feel pressure, or maybe a pop. Amen. Like something's going to pop. Amen. I want you to get up and check your alignment right now. Just move and check your alignment. Check your uh, shoulder blades. Amen. You're going to feel like pressure in, in that back. Let me know when you feel it and you're going to feel, um, and check your alignment. Amen. The woman that's walking, I command that swelling to go down. Let me know if it's gone. Uh, I think your name is called Qualified. And the person that had pain in the right foot, something was in your right foot, H how do you feel? Let me know if you just got healed. Let me know, people of God, come on. I can't get off of here till y'all get healed, amen? So I had to kind of stay here. Yeah, God is good. How you doing, Al? Amen? And the person that had emotional pain, lay hands on your heart in Jesus' name. And I sent forth the fire God in your heart. And I just break any emotional issues off of you in Jesus' name. Amen. How you doing, Nancy? God bless you, woman of God. How you doing, Tasha? God bless you. Amen. Come on, people of God. I need y'all to move. Activate your faith. Blessings. I, I command a dead elimination in Jesus' name. Your lower black. I'm claiming straight spine. Amen. I command that pain to break off of you in Jesus' name. How does your shoulder blades look, uh, Malka? Amen. You're still pain in your foot. Uh, can you get up, Miss S. Grace? Miss S. Grace, get up and walk. Lord God, by your stripes, these people are healed. I, 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 I command any stubborn pain to break off in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God, you have given us authority to cast out all unclean spirits, to heal all manners of sickness and diseases. I break the headache off of you in Jesus' name. It's still there. Hallelujah. This is what I want you to do, people of God. Amen. I want you guys to take your communion daily. Amen. And I have to do this myself. Take daily communion and decree your healing every day. Amen. Communion is more than just crackers and some grape juice. Amen. You're drinking that anointing, the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. And just decree and confess your healing every day. Amen. But God will just give you praise. Amen. So the person with the foot, let me know how you feel. The person with the foot, let me know how you feel. Come on, so I'm getting ready to get off of here, and I just want to make sure you get healed before I go. Amen? How do you keep yourself on track when you know you're slipping? Um, well, I encourage you, you know, um, first of all, um, get, get in, get in uh, to a local church. Have somebody to hold you accountable. Amen? Fast. Make sure you pray every day consistently and read your word consistently. Amen? Just do it. You know, be careful what you watch. Be careful what you hang around. Amen. I pray that the pain left in your lower back. Y'all give God praise. Woo! Y'all give God praise. She said the pain left in her lower back. Amen. Amen. There's a pressure in your back. Can you stand up? God is doing it right now. Sometimes the miracles, they linger and they come out the last minute. Amen. But please get up. You're going to get ready to get healed. I feel pressure in my, my spine for you. Amen. You feel pressure in your spine? Do you believe God can heal you of scoliosis? I've seen him do it before. Yeah, get the books. They're great. Amen. Y'all give God praise because this miracle is going to... Uh, she, she, says, she says she's in a mirror moving now. Look at her. Look at that. You see the comments, y'all, right? I'm not making this stuff up. Amen. I feel pressure in my spine. It's more in the, the middle part of my back. God is doing it right now. I break scoliosis off of you in Jesus' name. Y'all getting ready to see a tangible miracle. Amen. And matter of fact, on your shoulders... Uh, your shoulder blades are becoming heavy right now. They're becoming heavy. Check alignment. Like, put your arms out like this. You know how you put your arms out straight, your two fingertips together? Check alignment right now. Command alignment of her spine in Jesus' name. Do you believe this? Tell me what's happening. Speak to me. Give me feedback. Amen? I, I've seen it, y'all. I don't know who was on that call that night when God healed that lady of scoliosis. I, I, I fell to my knees and started crying and giving God praise. 
Because I was like, God, you're so real. Amen. Let me know what you feel, woman, God, in that spine. God is healing you with scoliosis right now. You feel fire. Look at that. Ooh, what do you feel in your shoulder blades? You know, it's like an angel. It's an angel of the Lord. He's aligning your, your, your shoulder blades right now. It's going to look even. Let me know. You know, because, you know, somebody with scoliosis, like, the curvature is an S. Their spine is a curvature. Amen? The person that had the swelling in your foot, the swelling should be gone. Look. They do. Woo! Look at that. Y'all give God praise. Woo! Y'all made, made me cut up in here. Y'all see that? Jesus. She said her spinal things are aligned. Y'all. Oh, Jesus. God is so good. Amen. Woo, Jesus. Did y'all see that? Jesus, my stomach's on fire. Amen. Yes, I pray for your wife, uh, architect. The, the devil's on here. Yeah, all vertebrae straightened up. I feel it, woman of God. You know, I don't I don't put a limit on God. Amen. I don't put a Yeah, God is real, y'all. So y'all just saw this y'all just saw a tangible miracle on here. Amen. I'm not on here to, you know, make up nothing. I'm on here to Lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm on here to pray for the people of God to, you know, touch and agree for your miracle. Amen. She's bending. Woo! Hallelujah. So let's just give God praise. Amen. That that the pain left out of her back and the scoliosis on her back got healed. That's God. Amen. Jesus. Amen. God is good. Amen. Woo! You're about to make me shout. Woo! God. Woo! Okay. Y'all got me all hyper. Woo, Jesus. God is good, y'all. Amen. Mwah! God is awesome. Yes. All right. Somebody got left knee pain. Arthritis in the left knee. Come on. Stand up. Amen. Stand up. What time is it? It's 136. Come on. Please get up. You're going to get healed right now. Left knee. Left knee pain. Yeah, you needed this. Amen. Amen. If y'all want to be a blessing to the ministry, you know, go to my website. So, amen. So into the kingdom. I'm excited. Oh, man, I'm so excited. I love that, y'all. Amen. Go back to reading the book. You got fire in your back. Amen. Your foot is good. Woo! Y'all give God praise. Miss S. Grace, she said she had a uh, right uh, pain in her right foot. And she said her foot is good now. Y'all give God praise. That's the God we serve. Amen. So, if God just blesses people with a miracle, why can't God do it for you? Amen. So I want you guys to get your faith up. I want you guys to believe God. Yeah, I'm on two hours behind. Yeah, I'm on mountain time. But I'm getting ready to move to Colorado. Um, not Colorado. I'm in Colorado Springs. I'm getting ready to move to South Carolina. Amen. So God is good. You know, um, God is doing great things in my life. Um, you know, got engaged recently. So going to get married soon. Yeah. Yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all want to sow, be a blessing. Please get the books, amen. I don't write these books for me. I've written 13 books, so I'm excited about what God is doing, amen. So I love you guys. Sign up for the um, sign up for the webinar, prophetic webinar. Sign up for the women's conference. All, all that stuff is on my website, amen. Is anybody else on here sick? You're in South Carolina, amen. I love you guys. If you got healed today, um, I don't know. I don't know yet. But I'm North South Carolina. Amen. If you got healed today, email me your testimony. Amen. So I love you guys. I'll probably come back in the morning and pray with you guys. All right. Be expecting. God bless.